You know, whenever we talk about three-way bottom bouncing rig, this is what we're talking about, a three-way swivel. This is a standard one. You can see that there's three swivels. So each one of these actually turns, it swivels. There's a ring in the center. But I'll show you a swivel that I prefer to use that I pick up at Pete's Tackle, and it's right here, and I'll tell you why. See, this swivel doesn't have that ring in the center, and look, the one that's got my weight on it actually goes around, rotates around the center, and these also swivel. So I find this much better when you're casting. So most guys will use a piece of monofilament here as their tagline, but what I like to do is to use tow rope. So this is the same rope, it's actually a Dacron that we use when we planer board fish. And the reason I like doing that is when I put my split shot, again, most people will use a, a pencil weight that's about one ounce. I prefer to use these split shot that come in a bag like this, and I'll tell you why. Number one, they're removable, okay? So they got little wings on them. So these are them in here. So I'm just gonna put that down for a sec. You can see that they got little wings. So what I've done is tie a knot at the end of my Dacron, and then I just squeeze it together, okay? And that's on there. Then, because the current's not too strong right now, I'm gonna put a second one on there and I'm gonna squeeze it together. Just squeeze tight, okay? If the current picks up, I can put three, four, five of them there. So this is a, a really neat way to fish on the bottom, whether you're fishing in faster water, slower water. Right, Aldo. You know, you were nice and patient. You were quiet. I didn't even know you had a fish on it because I, I was, was working quiet. with Ray. Yeah, well, that's okay. We had a double header on. You know what? That's a nice male. Yes. Look at Beautiful. Good fish. And I notice you're using a yellow line. Is that a braid or a... It's a braid. It's a, it's a high-vis line. Or, uh, give that to him. Ray just gave me it's back a, the glove. I'm going to need it. So. Good, good. Yeah. Now, did you have a spawn sack on there, or is that just a little cork? With the spawn sack. Okay, that's a nice male. I bet yeah. you that fish will go about, uh, I'm guessing, seven, eight pounds. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to get the glove on, and we're going to grab this guy. You know, this is amazing, Aldo, that you can come down here. I know you get a lot of fish in the Niagara, but it's amazing that you can come down here and get these gorgeous browns awesome. all day long. So it doesn't matter what the conditions are, really. Now, there's the hemostats right there. If you want to just pop that hook out, can you see it? I'll hold it this way. Can you see it there? You kind of got it inside. You got it on the hook? Try not to wreck your line. You're going to have to replace your spawn sack. Okay. It looks like somebody in the past had hooked this fish because yep. the maxillary was broken. So see if you, there you go. Now there's a prime male. You can see that kipe is a little bit bigger. <laughs> very, very deep fish. Well done, Gorgeous Aldo. fish. Yeah, it's so much fun. You know, Aldo and I are blessed because we live very close to St. Catherine, so we can come down here anytime. But we don't come down here every day. So Almost what, every day. Look, at, this is a male. You can see he's prime spawning because the milt's coming out of him. Yep. Hopefully they didn't get any on my pants. Okay, I'm going to revive him, and then we're going to let okay. him go, Aldo. All right. It's very deceiving. Some of these males have very high backs, and that guy's pretty broad around the shoulders. See, I'm trying to keep him facing the current till he rights himself. So these fish fight so well. He wants to go, he's ready to go, he's righted himself. I'll move the net away. And this is perfect. Look how they blend into that bottom. Can you picture hundreds of them out there laying just like that? They're such a beautiful fish. Look at that. He's gonna go back out there and find some females to spawn with. Fish a girl! Catch the passion! I love crankbaits. They're so fun to fish. Um, it's not slow fishing. You can cast it out and reel it in. And because of the square nose, it doesn't run very deep. It looks really real. It rattles. And the nice thing about this particular crankbait is it's made out of plastic. So it's buoyant and uh, it's very, very versatile and tough. So it's ideal to fish in shallow water right along the shore if you're casting from a boat or even in deeper water where the greeds grow right up to the surface. You can fish it right over the surface. 